In this video, we'll see how to get count of total number of columns and total number of rows into your Excel sheet. So let us see that. So I've written a code at the backend in the macros. So let us see that. So I'll just open, I'll go to developer tab, click on this visual basic. Okay. And that's the code which is written here. Yeah. So you see sub procedure I've written into this module that is I underscore miscellaneous. Okay. In that I have written this macro sub procedure row column count. If you want, you can change it. Dim X as integer Y as integer define two variables X equal to rows dot count and message box X. So rows dot count will give me the count of number of rows and columns dot count will give me the number of columns. And I want to display that value and then I'll just end sub procedure. But now let us see if I execute, if I click on this step into, step into, step into, and I've got this error message. It says runtime error six overflow. When it says overflow, there's something problem in that. So let us see if I'll just click on this debug. Okay, I've clicked on debug and I'll just keep my cursor on this place. I've kept my cursor on this place. Rows.count, the value is given as 1048576. These are the number of rows which I have. But if you observe, I have defined the variable as integer and what is the capacity of integer? It is not that much. It is 32,768. Okay. So if you see here, the capacity of integer negative numbers it can handle is minus 32768 and positive number is 32767. Okay. And if you observe this value that is rows.count, this value is much more larger than what it can handle. So therefore the error which you got was overflow. That means it is not able to handle that much capacity. Same way, I'll just click on this stop. So now what is the solution for this one? The solution is the variable which I've defined dim excess integer do not define as integer, define at some other data type. So what should be the data type? If you see integer, the capacity is very less. The other data type is long. The capacity of this much is very large. So I can use instead of integer, I can use as long. So what I can do is I can just remove this integer and I can type here as long here. Also I'll remove this integer and I'll type here as long. Now what I'll do is I'll press step into step into step into and again step into if you see and now I've got the answer as 1048576. That's the number of rows which I have. I'll click on OK. Now if I want the columns, I'll just click on the step into again step into. Now it says the number of columns you have is 16384. These are the total number of columns which I have and I'll just click on OK button. Right. And I'll just click on stop. Right. So I hope you are able to understand how to get total number of rows and columns and which data type I have to use into my macros. That's all for this video.